Hi, this is Peter at Stanford University, and I'm going to show you how to create a new gallery on the REVS Digital Library website. Now, to do this, you're going to have to have an account. And if you don't already have one, you can find the screencast, which talks about how to do that. Now, you can see I've already logged in here, and if I click my name, I'm going to come to my dashboard. My dashboard shows some information about me that I've entered and my activity on the site. You'll see I don't have any galleries yet, and I can create a gallery in a couple ways. One is there's a link over here on the side, and the second, if you don't have any galleries, is a nice link over here. So I'm going to click on that. Now I have to do two things. Give it a title, and then decide who can see it. So I'm going to give it a title and a description. You can edit these later. And you need to decide who can see the gallery. You can either keep it private, which means only you'll get to see it, or you can make it public so anyone who knows about it can see it. So let me keep it private. I'll click Save Changes. Now it's showing me my list of galleries. I have exactly one. There's the title. It's private, and I don't have any items in it yet. So now I can either edit it, which means I can come back and give it a better description or change the title or change the visibility, or I can start finding items and adding them to the gallery. So let's do that. Now, once you're navigating the website and you come upon an item that you might want to add to your gallery, you simply go over here and find the Add to Gallery link under Actions. Click that link and you'll see your list of galleries. If you had more than one, you'd see them all in this list. Choose which one you want and click Add. So now this item has been saved to my gallery and I can keep browsing the site, finding items that are interesting to me. And you'll notice it's already selected this gallery since I've just added one. So it remembers your previous selection. Once you've found a few items and added them, you can go back and look at your gallery. So let's go back to the dashboard page by clicking on our name. Now we can find our gallery here. It tells us it has three items. And if I click on it, I'll see the items that are in my gallery. Now that I have these items here, I can annotate them, basically indicate why I think they're interesting. This is especially helpful if you're gonna make this gallery public. Enter in anything you want and save it. And this note will be saved with this item. It'll only be shown when you're looking at the gallery. It won't show on the image page otherwise. The other thing you can do is you can change the ordering of the items by clicking Manage Items. When you click on that, you'll be able to simply drag and drop to put them in the order that you want. 